Hey everybody, Colin Mitzenmacher here at Water's Edge Winery of Long Beach. Come by Wednesday through Sunday. We got all your wine needs under one roof right here. Support your local winery. Long Beach is first and only. Cheers. So we have an awesome take home wine tasting kit for you. Until dine out resumes, uh, this is the best we can do uh, to be able to bring our wines to your place and be able to offer you up our experience that we love to offer here at Water's Edge Winery so much. Starting with our wine tasting, we have our Queensway. The Queensway is named after the street that goes straight to the Queen Mary, uh, which is a very, very famous uh, Long Beach staple. The Queensway is a Pecorino Pinot Grigio blend. The Pecorino grape went extinct back in the mid 20th century and revitalized in the 80s in a town called Abruzzo. It's the only city in the entire world that now grows this grape. Getting our hands on it was really exciting and blending it with a Pinot Grigio gave everybody the popularity of the one grape while being able to also taste some really fun new flavors in the Queen's Way. The Pecorino grape gives a little more depth, also just adds something that's a little bit more rare than people are used to. The Big Daddy Red, uh, named after the original winemaker that got me passionate about doing what I do. Uh, his name's Matthew Wentworth. Uh, we named it Big Daddy Red because it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and a Zinfandel, kind of the bigger, bolder varietals. And the Cab and Syrah coming out of Paso Robles. The Zinfandel is going to be coming out of Lodi. And you can actually try our old Rancho, which is 100% Zinfandel from Lodi that's blended into our Big Daddy Red. Really fun wine, very versatile. It has a nice jammy profile on the back end. It's uh, definitely our number one seller, and uh, we absolutely love this wine. And last but certainly not least on our tasting is gonna be our raspberry peach sangria. It was the sangria that started it all. So this raspberry peach sangria will really be a fun one. We like to go from mild to wild, so you can actually enjoy this uh, chilled in a glass or throw some ice and some fresh fruit in there and maybe even at home throw in a shot of vodka. So first up on our wine tasting is gonna be the Queen's Way. The Queen's Way is the Pecorino Pinot Grigio blend, all the grapes out of Italy. Uh, really wonderful, light and refreshing. Let's give this a taste. Nice underripened peaches on there. Light citrus, very light citrus. A little bit of an elder flower nose to this. So when wine tasting at home, remember the rule of three, okay? Smell the wine from your chest to your chin, and then put your nose all the way in the glass. Second rule of three, taste it, cleanse your palate, taste the wine again, so you can really get an understanding for the wine, and on your last sip, that's when you can do the aeration. And that's gonna give you the full complexity of the wine in your glass. Now, once you have the wine tasted, now you wanna taste your charcuterie. So I would take our Jarlsberg cheese here, or our goat cheese. Either one's gonna pair famously with it. Then we also are gonna have our dried mangoes. The dried mangoes are gonna pair very nicely as well. Really fun, uh, it's always very exciting to me to be able to taste the wine and then understand how much the wine evolves once you add food to it. It's a very French thing. Uh, they made the, the wine to go with the food, which is kind of a cool thing also in Italy, uh, which we have right here. And also our last rule of three, that if you like this wine, you buy three bottles. So next up on our wine tasting today, we're going to have the infamous Big Daddy Red. Everybody needs a little Big Daddy in their lives. Let's give it a taste. So this is gonna be a very unique style red wine. So a good way to really release the aromas of the wine or the bouquet, if you will, is to do a nice little swirl. 
at first when you pour the wine, there's no reason to swirl. You want to kind of get the, the understanding of what it smells like from the get-go. And then give it a little swirl. Sometimes it helps to lightly open your mouth just a little bit and then close your eyes. It's one of the best ways to smell wine. So this is going to have a nice blackberry, strawberry, little bit of smokiness from the oak. Very jammy on the back end. The jamminess is like taking a scoop of blackberry jam from Knott's Berry Farm right on the back end of this wine. Really nice, really fun, just very, something very different. So taste that. Pair that up with our Genoa. You're gonna get a nice little fattiness out of that. You can even get away with doing a little bit of our Gouda. Uh, and then also you got some fresh grapes here. Fresh grapes are always good with wine because grapes are grapes, right? Uh, but this is a really great wine. You don't really need to pair this up with too much. Just enjoy this for what it is. Take on all the little bit of spicy notes that come out of it in the very beginning. That's gonna be your Syrah. You got that boldness from the cab. And then at the very end, you got that jamminess from the Zin. Excelente. So last but certainly not least is something really fun that we do here at Water's Edge Winery of Long Beach is our sangrias. This one in particular is the raspberry peach sangria. The raspberry peach sangria was the sangria that started it all. And now we have up to a dozen different sangrias annually that we do. Really fun. Uh, we go from mild to wild on this. So basically you can enjoy it in the glass just like so. Uh, throw some ice, um, throw some fresh fruit in there, muddle it up and then enjoy your favorite spirit mixed in, but only at home. So this is our raspberry peach sangria, super light, very mellow. This is for those people who are just learning about wine, or maybe you want something nice and refreshing uh, by the pool. Always a fun one to have uh, on a warm day. Um, I like to call it gateway wine. Uh, it'll definitely get you into the mix, if you know what I mean. So with that, it's gonna have a, a very fragrant nose of raspberries and peaches. Uh, the, the name itself really tells you the whole story. Delicious sweetness. Like I said, you can do so many different wonderful things with this, especially at home. You can enjoy it in your tasting as of right now. Pair it up with your grapes, but just enjoy it for what it is. It's a wonderful, fun, different wine. You don't have to be pretentious about it. You can just enjoy it and have some fun. Mm. That goes down smooth. Hey everybody, this is Colin Mitzenmacher here at Water's Edge Winery of Long Beach. I am so grateful for the support that we continue to have throughout this entire crazy time that we're all going through together. If it wasn't for you guys, especially our wine club members, we really wouldn't be here today. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs>